So he beamed in there. I had plenty of gold. So once he beamed in there, I just beamed out there. Uh, I know I have more resources than he does. So I'm just going to try to drain. I'm just going to drain his resources for now. My keeper didn't portal out in time. He was just out of the range. So I know that he's chasing the keeper. But the archers, they're kind of caught in the middle of the ghouls. So to prevent that, I run the archers up there. And I know I have him where I want him. He's chasing me right now, so I'm just going to run the rest of my army over to that keeper. And maybe I can do some damage to him right now. But he runs his ghoul on the slight uphill there, but nothing really uh, special. Puts on the... Uh, puts on the... the bleh, protection scroll. Yes, always have protection <laughs> in your army. But the drives quickly are to dispel that. Constantly putting to sleep my demon hunter is just really agitating for me. He gets out the uh, Book of the Dead, so I manually dispel as much as I can. Demon hunter not really looking, uh, uh, not really looking like he's going to be surrounded there, but he's mainly trying to take out that keeper that I have since it's a weaker target. So keeper is dead. So while I'm at it right now, I have a smaller amount of units, and to keep my control better. I uh, just put them all in one control group. He just gets a rock golem out there. Ugh. So this is when they're surrounding my uh, demon hunter. This is when they believe they can totally surround and destroy it, but he's not really paying much attention to the likelihood of his ghouls here. So much of his ghouls are very weak at the moment. Uh, a lot of them are in the red. But the Death Knight, he, got, he was a wise choice for him to get this. He got a Potion of Invisibility. That was very, very smart of him to do. His uh, Death Knight would be screwed by now. But uh, since I was stunned, I couldn't use that Potion of Healing. With the Demon Hunter's death, I run out of the way. I know I can't uh, take care of the rest of him right now. But he's weak as it is. And he's got the rock golem out there, so he's going to wait. And maybe the rock golem will fizzle away by the time I have a hero out. But during the whole entire battle, since I didn't put a force group onto my buildings in this game, I uh, was left with a lot of resources, and I didn't keep uh, consistency during the whole battle. So that was something that I was... Uh, uh, I was pissed off at myself for doing there, not putting a force group onto my buildings because I, I need to really get with that because I uh, played that in a few matches where I actually cared, and it, it's it's good, trust me, because not a lot of players do that. And I'm just out trying to uh, put sentries in the area. Huntress not really looking like she's going to live there. So, that's gone. Wow, isn't this exciting? <laughs> yeah, he's going to go for an item run right now. For the best thing that he can do. I forgot what he's going to get. I think he gets a... Uh, oh, scroll of Healing. Two. I don't know why he did that. He should get a uh, teleport scroll if I were him. But right here... I have no heroes out, but with heroes or not, I have a bigger army than he is. Whether I'm getting experience or not, I can do some method of damage onto him. Or so I thought. Uh, too many ghouls. I'm going to run out of there. Uh, I see that he uses some of his scrolls of healing, and uh, my dryads are falling rapidly. So, run out of the way in hopes uh, of him trying to keep up with the chase there, because... I just got the Demon Hunter out, level 5. I could probably get to level 6 if I uh, did some damage to that army, but he doesn't keep on with the chase. I think he learned his lesson from there. But he's going to run back to the wells and heal up a bit. But since I had that Owl Scout out there, I saw what he had. So looking at the time of the replay, the uh, fate of the game battle is about to happen soon. But my army size is not very big. I did get a Druid of the Claw, however. Uh, that's solely for the purpose of rejuvenation. So I just need to get those Dryads uh, going on still. Whew. Tired. Yeah, he's... Get out of the way there. 
But right now he was so caught up into other things he forgot to expand. Sucks for him. And so I see his army's running over there. He uh, used that ghoul to swat down that tree, but the uh, other owl scout was out of his view, it appears. So here's here's the main battle right here. So pay close attention. Uh, my demon hunter being surrounded. He's going to try to kill the demon hunter there, but using some potions, using rejuvenation, here's where you see how a single demon hunter can uh, totally level an army. Death Knight's on the run. Take that out. I'm at level 6. What sucks is that uh, I couldn't get metamorphosis. I was out of mana. So the Dreadlord's my next best target. I saw he was level 5. I do not want him uh, using his ghouls to get him some experience to get to that inferno. Uh, so that's about to die right there. Psh, he's out. Rejuvenating my demon hunter. I'm uh, trying to run my dryads back so he would pay more attention to the demon hunter and surround it. But at this point on, he says, screw it. He says, good game. And that's game. He's about to leave soon. He's about to leave soon. I swear. Hold on. He's going to do it. Uh, he's going to wait for me to kill his expansion. Yeah. He's out of the game. So, breakdown of the scores. 89k on my part with 69k on his. The hero score, I killed five heroes. Level 6, Human Hunter. Level 4, Keeper of the Grove. Level 5, Dreadlord. Pretty close to the level 6. How you got that Infernal? I would have been in trouble. Level 4, Death Knight. But he just kept constant with that sleep. Oof. It was a wise choice of him to get sleep, though, instead of carry on swarm. Those dryads, uh, spell immune. So that's a wrap for this. Uh, I know it's a very long commentary, about a half hour, I think. But thank you very much for listening to it. Uh, hopefully I'll be playing some uh, better matches, though. But right now I really have a lot of training to do. Uh, I just... Uh, the best race that I am to go against right now is just Undead. The other races I have a problem with. Uh, orc. Orc, I'm starting to get used to. I'm starting to be able to get a really good counter against the Orcs. But Night Elf, eh, I haven't played very uh, very many Night Elf matches, so I'm going to have to work on that. But the human, my gosh, I, have a, uh, I don't think I've beat a human yet who's used the fast expand, so I need to really uh, get on the ball with some strategies there because uh, ZA Fear, he's at the Florida Semifinal World Cyber Games, and I fought him in the qualifiers. And I didn't use my World Cyber Games build at that time because I really wasn't expecting a new patch to come out and totally screw it, screw it over. But I could have used the World Cyber Games build on that, and I could maybe had a chance. <laughs> but anyways, guys, thank you very much for listening to this. And you know the drill. If you have any suggestions for the commentaries, uh, simply uh, message me with them or make a reply onto the uh, same commentary post that you downloaded this off of. Uh, bleh, off of. So whether it's a good or bad comment, eh, I like it either way. It helps me out, and it helps me make a better commentary for all of you guys. So thank you very much for listening once again, and hopefully I get a lot more commentaries going on, because I really hope I really wish 1.06 didn't come out. I had like 12 replays that I was going to commentate for you guys, but, oh, well, I guess it's going to entice me to play some more. So it's good for all of our, all of our parts here. So... See you all later, folks.